Hudson brings the Mario Party franchise to the Wii with Mario Party 8. This is now the eighth year that they've been doing it, and they've got the formula down pretty tight. There's lots of board game action, you're running around squares, collecting coins, collecting stars, and you're playing a lot of minigames. So there's like well over 70 mini games. There's a lot of good variety there. And what's really nice about the mini game selection here is that they challenge you in different ways. There's gonna be endurance tests, there's gonna be precision tests, there's gonna be just kind of mentally oriented stuff. And that keeps you guessing and keeps the game fun. And obviously this is a game to be played with other people. You can play it by yourself against the computer, but it's way better with a room full of folks. But as always, the big problem here is the board games. There's just too much chance involved. Any winning that you do in the mini games ultimately doesn't have a lot of impact on the outcome of the game itself, which is a real bummer. So this is the first time that the Mario Party franchise has come to the Wii. Unfortunately, the game doesn't look so great. It doesn't seem like Hudson's done a lot to really enhance the presentation since it was on the GameCube. And as such, the graphics look really aliased, all of the characters look kind of muddy, nothing really looks that sharp. And the game apparently can't really handle widescreen, except for in the menu systems. You'll notice that on all of the games and on all of the boards, there's just a border on either side of the screen, which is really distracting and kind of embarrassing. The game makes a lot of use of the Wii Remote special abilities, but nothing that's really too wildly inventive. It's a lot of stuff that we've already seen before. At the same time, there's plenty of minigames where they don't force that on it, where you're just going to be holding the controller sideways, gamepad style, which is kind of nice that they didn't feel the need to just throw it in there where it wasn't needed. So yeah, this is just uh, another installment in the Mario Party franchise. Fans of the series are going to know what to expect, uh, and they're probably going to get what they want. There's a good amount of mini games, but there's still the same old board game trappings uh, wrapped around it that really kind of limit the game's potential. And that's the big problem with Mario Party 8.